really struggling, yes. but between the nerfs and just getting more practice in it, he is a lot more comfortable to the point where he's pretty confident in his ability to win it. He I is. believe he won against Utopian Ray the last time they played. Yeah, he also beat Phantom the last time they played when he was playing Palutena. Uh, also, in case you did not notice, Jen is plugging his Twitch in his little tag there. Twitch.tv. Jen F. New York. Check yeah, him yeah. out on Twitch. Uh, yeah, no, check him out on Twitch. He, he has really cool streams. He does yeah. like post game analyses also. In fact, almost certainly, uh, regardless of how this match goes, he's going to be watching it later, probably yeah. on his own stream. Oh, wow. He drops below, tries to probably come on with an aerial. That, I think, invincibility just ran out. Maybe. That could he also was, be it. He was at higher percent and he spent no time off stage. Yeah, I thought those, it was just like an immediate. For those of you who don't know, the way that Legend Invincibility is calculated is it's basically your percentage and the amount of time you've spent offstage inversely. Yep. So the longer you've been offstage, the more invincibility you'll get. Right. And now, as I've said that, you know, game has been tied up by Jen, and what looked like could have been a really rough spot for him, he's doing all right for himself right now. Yeah. He still has about a 60%, 70%. Oh, man. Did you see how he killed him, too? And you were talking about how percents were. But he just up smashed him after getting dash tagged on his shield. And it, that's not a true punish. But he knows that Yoshi's like to pick another offensive option or just jump. And you knew that up smash was going to beat them both. Which is very smart for him. Yeah, considering the fact that Yoshi's... I mean, Yoshi's out of shield game is decent. But a lot of times it's easy to space around on his shield. It's so. true. Wow, excellent up there. I really like that that idea. Because that's... It. I mean, the only college enemy that would have killed there that's very multi-hit. Jen hasn't gotten touched in forever. But like, keep in mind, Miles took the stock first. That's true. That's the first time he's gotten touched in about a minute, I'd and say. Eight percent. And and Miles normally you know his combo game is so super solid, but Jen's getting tapped by an F tilt and somehow avoiding the worst possible fates. He does it again. He only gets F tilt fair. I like oh, that high recovery. Excellent up there. Yeah, I like the high recovery, but Miles was ready to punish it. But the thing is that Yoshi's neutral air is really good for two framing. Yes. Palutena's sure. recovery in particular. So I didn't want to mess with it, but also Miles was able to cover that just in case. And I don't know what the up there is trying to cover. Yeah, I think he whipped a little bit. I think he was reading the roll out. And then he gets the fair on the reverse edge guard anyway. Jen was looking for an up air there, which I do like. Like a lot of Palutena's would very, uh, very projectively go for the back air. No way. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's because Yoshi, it's the sort of thing where he really swerves his hit, hurt box all around when he does that egg. Right. So, like, oftentimes he'll, like, dodge the first part of it, and then he'll, like, move in just to get hit by the last Right, part. right. It's crazy, though, because I thought, you know, a lot of people who do those, like, very high ex explosive flames, it's not really to kill. It's more to, like, make you recover low. But he actually got hit by it. And also, well, I mean, Yoshi yes. with this aerial... Mobility, but I also specifically think. the fact that Yoshi loves to throw out eggs to help cover. Yeah. So that's the reason why throwing it at, at, at high like that could very well, you know, interrupt his egg, and that's exactly what we saw. So right. at the very least, you know, still Miles is going to be recovering higher, but he might have to be careful about when he throws his egg, and that might, you know, give Jen some other opportunities that he can jump out there, neutral air, up there, anything like that. That's true. Dude, he is playing around Yoshi's hitboxes extremely well. He's not committing to hitting him and trying to beat out Ariel. He has no jump. He doesn't get much off of it. Yeah, he's, he's not committing to these aerials to beat out Yoshi's hitboxes. He's just kind of waiting to see what he does. And it's very, very, very smart. Ooh, that trade. In that situation, like trading with, against Yoshi with back air and you get spiked into the ground, super duper dangerous. Yeah. He does have access to either a fast smash attack like down smash or even forward smash if he reacts in time. Wow. He does it again. He up smashes not because it's a true punish or anything. No, that was. He did rising up air. True, but he up aired out of shield and at that point, even with his good air mobility, no way he yeah, could get away in time. I think he, he, he up smashed though before the up air even happened. He, he just whipped the up air. He just. He knows that Yoshi's like to hit aerials in front of your shield. So it's not even a true punish, it's just like, it's where you're going to be. Excellent explosive play, I'm really smart. Oh, and he still shields in time. Oh man, Jen is looking so, so good right now. And I think it's worth noting that Jen, you know, he was one of those players where 
during quarantine, you know, he, he didn't really spend time playing online or anything like that. And, you know, he was, of course, one of the best players in New York before the pandemic. And I'd say that overall, you know, hasn't quite replicated those results yet. Yeah. But here, right now, if he's able to get this win on Mile. Nice. Oh, but as I say that, Mile, he's, he's, he's won on course, and he's always been in the top cut, and there is a very good reason for that, and that's what he's showing right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. I mean, Mile's also used quarantine like, exceptionally well. He played in Wi-Fi brackets all the time, and he really upped his... Ah, okay. So he keeps doing that down throw back air, and that's not a true combo anymore. It's not a kill combo. But Miles keeps jumping out and he keeps getting hit. And although oh. it, it, it breaks the double jump armor barely, he has to kind of air dodge the ledge after. I would like to see him I mean, drift away and not match the jump. Uh, I think it's also like if you think about it in terms of risk reward, right? The risk of drifting away or air dodging or something like that is he reads it and you die. If you jump into it, you eat the back air, you are pretty much guaranteed to not die. You're if, now in a bad spot. Away, but he, has, he has no true combo. If he oh, did he di in? Was that the issue? I mean, I mean, I think he's diing out, but then jumping in. I'd like to see him just di out and then hold away, because he can hold his jump and then uh, do a recovery route that he likes. Oh, if you're miles there, yeah. That's so scary. It though. is. Once you once you double jump and then you throw out another egg, you lose your armor, and all of a sudden you can be a sitting duck. There it is and again. Oh, okay, that's a mean it's not the air dodge. Yeah, I think it's, I honestly am okay with it. As you saw right there, it gets him back to the ledge. Yeah, I think that time he, where he, did, he didn't have the directional air dodge, he was a little more safe, but you saw Jim look for that directional air dodge. He hit him with the a down throw back air, broke the armor, and then just down tilted waiting for the air dodge. I think that could be a very uh, easy way for Jen to get so killed. So are you absolutely certain that he can't just, like, if, if Miles if he just drifts away, away he's fine. drifts away, oh, there's no two combo. If he just drifts away. Yes. Really? It seemed like he was up in his face. I mean, it's because it's, it's he's DIing out and then jumping in. That's that's the reason. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> well, now we're going to be having a game three versus these two. Yeah. Ooh. He's gone to PS2 every time. I guess they both like it. Wow. Also, when, when you see Miles was recovering back kind of at like a high angle, a lot of Hollows would look for a back air there, which Miles is so accustomed to. Instead, oh, sorry. Instead, Jen is looking for up airs, which is, I think, very, like, he's not used to it at all. Miles is, uh, is not used to that. Isn't Kyle's grab range nerfed a little while ago? Extremely, yeah. So that was that coming yes. into play right there. Absolutely. And that's like one of those subtle things where probably uh, Jen has less experience with this nerf power. True. Uh, that being said, uh, he's still got a lot of experience under his belt. And look at the scoreboard right now. This is a complete, complete lead for Jen. Just a whole stop. He is. And he's, he's looking very comfortable. Like, he's not spamming one option, like he's, he's, he's like moving around Yoshi hitboxes extremely well right now. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it would f be on brand for this particular encore if Miles, if Jen takes it over Miles. Like, so many players, so many good players have been dropping into losers, yes. and I would definitely call this an upset if Jen is able to see this match to completion. But, giving up the stock count, only 88% on his body, that's not unmanageable. Again, though. Yeah, it's consistent at this point. Um, what was I say? Oh yeah, it, it, it is a testament to how much better Miles got. That you're, you're right, Jen beating him here would be an upset. Which is, I mean, like a, a year ago, that was absolutely not the case. Yeah, in that situation, I think just jumping into it is fine. Yeah, that one's fine. Just, you can just land up here. Really that. threatening space right here with his back airs, which like, obviously Palutena is like to do that versus Yoshi, but I think he's doing it in a way that's so like non-committal, which is so smart. Oh, great drift from Jen, throws out the neutral air, but still not close enough for Miles to still get the punish. Yeah. Just hit the back which I like. Excellent up there, very, very smart. It's also kind of risky. It is risky, but it's it, it worked out in his favor there. He looked for the air dodge, but didn't actually get the punish. That's happened like three times now. Honestly, what it is is just conditioning uh, Jen into thinking that he won't get punished for air dodge. Yeah, that's you know, what it is. we just saw Jen uh, 
shark under the ledge with an up air. I feel like if Paul is charged with that up air and then has to up it predictably, Yoshi B should be able to hit her. As you said, Nair is very good at hitting her two times. But Miles is actually not going down to pick up those kills. Oh, Miles really <coughs> struggling to get that kill. Eventually finds it. I think probably Jen was trying to jump out of shield. Yes, which is why that upper caught him. Oh, really good legend or uh, get up attack. Uh, that's gonna lead to a lot of damage. Yeah, if, you know, I have tilt up air nair is a ton. That's how come back to made. <laughs> oh my lord! And this is an, he almost it's has even. the lead here. One good move here. What? What is that? What was that? I don't know what that grab was looking for at all. That egg beats out the up smash, and, and it gets it. her on the way down. What a comeback. Oh wow. my lord. Jen was, this is one of the things about Yoshi. His low percent combo game is so good, and he can just turn momentum yes. on a dime. And especially if you're a player, even if you have nerves of steel like Jen does, when you're that much in the lead and you're like, I am doing really good right now.